So this is a letter to my future husband. To my future husband, life partner, whatever. If you haven't met me yet, good. I'd like you to stay like that for a while while I figure some things out. But if you have met me, there's some things I feel I need to clear before you get the wrong idea. I am a Proverbs 31 type of woman. That's all I know I'm not. If you have met me, you probably think I'm unapproachable. Believe it or not, it's on purpose, so I assure you, I'm not in a bad mood, I'm not trying to be rude, and I swear I don't have an attitude. See, what I'm asking from you is for you to give me my accord, because I've bought in so many times into dreams that I couldn't afford. See, I hope that when we're together, we have a type of love where when people are asked what type of love they want, they will always say this one. And I hope you're the type of man who, when your friends ask you how your girl is doing, you won't have to say which one. See, I hope that when we're together, we have this type of love where you can be my opposite, but at the same time, my equal. A love where we can be vulnerable. Where even though you choose not to tell me about your transgressions, you know that I forgive you and I accept you. Not as new but covered in the scars of everything you have been through because I know that there is so much more that you can be. And I hope you can be just as forgiving when it comes to me. See, I hope that when you were a child at the age of two, you had dreams that you could live forever because I'm going to make them come true. I will immortalize you with my pen and my words. You will have the pleasure of existing between two worlds. I hope that we have a love where we don't have this incessant need to shout it from the rooftops to confirm how we feel. A love that is so low-key even I wonder if it's real. Now I'm not saying I'm petty. But if you want to act funny, honey, we can act hilarious. See, petty grievances don't move me. So if you ever want to make a scene, baby, I can make a movie. See, I'm not like other women you've met. I learned from the best. I have dealt with men who are magicians, who managed to pull disappearing acts from right before my eyes. And I am the type of woman who can go to war with a man's ego armed with nothing more than blue ticks and I will win so we can both play tricks. See, love isn't always so demanding. Sometimes it's just us. And sometimes we just have to vibe with it. So to my future husband, I don't want us to fall in love. I want us to rise in it.